All right, we're talking about all the behind the scenes stuff that you need to get done. This is a big one, insurance. Make sure you get insurance. Here's what I like to do for my insurance. I work through a broker. I've built a relationship with a broker and that brokerage helps me go obtain any sort of insurance policy we need for the business on equipment, on workers comp, on um, auto insurance, you name it. Any sort of insurance they're going to help you with. Okay, you can go directly to someone like State Farm, but you're only gonna get quotes from State Farm and then you're gonna find out real quick that State Farm only does like auto and homeowners insurance or something like that, right? I don't even know if they do workers comp. I don't, I don't think they do. Um, my, my point is with this is like, not all insurance companies offer every type of insurance. So what I did was go ask your CPA or ask, it, a CPA would be a good place to start to introduce you to an insurance broker. What I did was I went to another successful entrepreneur who, or he owns multiple businesses in the Denver area and I just said, hey, who do you recommend for this, right? And then, um, Turns out I got connected to another guy who uh, was an alumni of the college I went to and he connected me with his lead account manager. She manages all of our insurance and it is incredible. It's just like hiring a website agency. You wanna limit the amount of things that you have to do on a daily basis. The more you can delegate to other people, especially on things that you're already going to be paying for. So for, for insurance, for example, you're already going to be paying for workers comp. You're gonna be paying for general liability insurance. So why not let somebody else take that off your plate? Just go to a broker. It's the same principle as selling your house, okay? Everybody who sells their house on their own, like, I don't really care if I step on any toes. Hey, you're dumb, you're dumb to do it. <laughs> why? Because the, in, uh, the, the real estate brokers have all the relationships and sure they charge 3% for each side of the brokerage, but guess what? They can probably sell your house for 3% more. Basically six, because they've got to split it with the, with the buyer's broker, right? But like, for example, if, and these are just uh, random numbers, right? Way low in today's market. If you're gonna sell your house for 100,000 bucks, you wanted to put 100,000 bucks in your pocket whenever you sold your house. Your, your, if you went and sold on your own, you're gonna spend all this time and you're gonna show your house to all these different people. You're gonna, the only marketing you're gonna have is, is a home sign out front in your yard. Less people are gonna see your stuff. If you hire a real estate broker, they're gonna go sell your house for $106,000 to the buyer. They're gonna take their $6,000 cut and then you're gonna get your $100,000. It's just, it's like, why, why would you spend your time marketing and showing your house to people whenever you can pay someone else to do it. It's simply just not worth your time, especially when you're gonna net the same amount. Same thing with an insurance broker. Now, maybe you do pay a little bit more for insurance, but guess what? Your time as a business owner, if you're working on tasks that, that are only, like you could be paying someone else like 35 bucks an hour or 25 bucks an hour to do, you're gonna to want to figure out how to pay those people to do that type of work. So with insurance, I'm telling you right now, just build a good relationship with a broker and let them find you the best coverages, okay? The amount you're probably gonna save, for example, like, we, we, we saved so much money on our workers comp because had I gone through the, the, the one that's provided the state pinnacle, I think we would have paid like 10 times the amount of what we're paying right now. And the reason that we're paying less is because the broker went and found somebody else and she knew sort of the ins and outs of how we should structure this based on the type of services we're offering. And I saved, I saved like thousands and thousands of dollars this year doing that. So don't mess around with this. Just go find an insurance broker. Uh, ideally, it would be from a referral. So go find someone you trust who owns a business and ask if you can uh, get introduced to a broker.